As the first light of dawn filters through the dense, humid canopy of a Southeast Asian jungle, a familiar sound echoes through the trees. It is a sharp, ringing crow, a sound we might associate with a farm, yet this is its true ancestral home, living its life far from any human dwelling. They move in small, tight-knit groups, their sharp eyes scanning the leaf litter for anything edible, insects, fallen fruits, seeds, tender shoots. This is a life governed by the rhythms of the sun and the ever-present watch for predators. After leaving their roosts high in the trees, they descend to forage. The group works together with the dominant male. He watches for snakes slithering through the undergrowth, eagles circling silently overhead. Mother hens teach their chicks the essential skills of finding food and staying safe in this lush yet perilous world. As dusk approaches, activity changes. The flock moves back to chosen roosting trees. It is from this untamed existence, this world of shadow and light, that one of humanity's closest animal companions would eventually emerge. To behold a male red jungle fowl in his natural habitat is to witness a living jewel. A cascade of fiery orange, deep, glossy red, shimmering with an almost metallic sheen. His tail feathers arch in a magnificent sickle shape, iridescent green and purple. Crowning his head is a fleshy, bright red comb and wattles which are not just for show. They are signals of his health and dominance. The female, or hen, presents a more subtle yet equally perfect form of beauty. Her plumage is a marvel of camouflage, especially crucial when she is sitting on her nest, a shallow scrape hidden among roots and leaves. Beyond their looks, jungle fowl communicate through a complex vocabulary of sounds. The famous cockadoodle doo is just one of more than 30 distinct calls. Soft clucks of contentment, sharp staccato alarm calls for ground predators, a different, more guttural cry for threats from the air. Flocks are typically led by one dominant male who wins his position through displays, sometimes by fierce, brief battles with rivals. He presides over several hens, a family unit or harem. It may be surprising to look at a common farmyard chicken and then at the dazzling red jungle fowl. See the direct connection. The link is undeniable. Scientific evidence, studying physical traits, comparing DNA, confirms the red jungle fowl is the primary ancestor of every domestic chicken. Fluffy white birds raised for meat, brown hens that lay our breakfast eggs, all carry the genetic legacy of that wild Asian bird. Grey jungle fowl, Sri Lankan jungle fowl. Green jungle fowl may have added minor traits, but the red jungle fowl is the forefather. A rooster stands tall and crows at dawn, repeating an ancient instinct, claiming territory. Chickens roost at night, seeking a high perch in a coop, echoing jungle fowl flying up into tree branches to escape predators. They were adaptable eaters, thriving on scraps and grains near humans. Understanding this connection matters. The farm chicken is a jungle fowl that traveled through time. Recognizing the red jungle fowl as the original chicken connects our breakfast table to the distant Asian jungle. The great journey from wild to tame did not happen overnight. It was a slow, gradual process that began thousands of years ago, likely in Southeast Asia or the Indus Valley. Early humans living near the forest edges would have observed the jungle fowl. They would have been captivated by the male's brilliant colors and his fierce, courageous nature. Instead, the leading theory is that they were first brought into human settlements for the sport of cockfighting. These first captive birds were likely revered, seen as symbols of strength and bravery. As people kept jungle fowl in their villages, they would have noticed other useful traits. The birds were excellent scavengers, cleaning up scraps of food and eating pests like insects and scorpions. They also laid eggs, a reliable and nutritious source of protein that could be collected easily. Perhaps a villager found a clutch and brought them home, watched them hatch. Over many generations, people would have naturally selected the birds that were the calmest, the most productive egg layers, or the meatiest. As ancient civilizations grew and trade routes expanded, these newly domesticated chickens traveled with them on ships and caravans, spreading from Asia into Persia, the Middle East, Africa and Europe. Each new culture continued the process of selective breeding, creating unique breeds adapted to local climates and needs. From a single wild species, an incredible diversity of chickens emerged. 
the fierce, wild spirit was gradually reshaped into a more docile, dependent nature, while some traits, vibrant plumage, social behavior, remained. Beyond their role as the ancestors of chickens, jungle fowl are full of surprising secrets. One of the most fascinating is their impressive intelligence. Researchers have discovered that mother hens can actually teach their chicks, using specific calls to tell her chicks which foods are good to eat and which should be avoided. She demonstrates a form of empathy. If her chicks are stressed, the mother hen's own heart rate will increase. She is emotionally connected to their well-being. Jungle fowl can see a wider spectrum of light than humans, including ultraviolet. Male feathers have patterns visible only in ultraviolet, secret patterns crucial for attracting a mate or recognizing individuals. Scientists have observed chickens remember faces and ranks of over 100 other birds. The pecking order is a system to reduce conflict and maintain stability. Domesticated chickens can and do go back to being wild. Escaped chickens have established feral populations in Bermuda, in Hawaii, and over generations they begin to look and act like red jungle fowl. Males become sleeker and more colorful. Females develop better camouflage. They become leaner and more agile. Evolution in reverse. The story of the jungle fowl is more than just a curious piece of natural history. It is a story about our own past and a critical lesson for our future. These wild birds hold the original genetic blueprint, a vast library of traits that have been diluted or lost in many domestic breeds. If a new disease were to threaten the world's chicken populations, scientists could look to the wild jungle fowl for genes that confer natural resistance. Protecting their jungle habitats is not just about saving a beautiful bird, it is about safeguarding the food security of billions of people. It has found its way into our culture, our language, and even our religions, celebrated as a symbol of courage, punctuality, and fertility. This journey from jungle to coop is one of the most successful partnerships between humans and any animal. When we look at a jungle fowl, we should see a master of survival, a creature perfectly tuned to its environment, and a living piece of history. By understanding and celebrating the untold story of the jungle fowl, we gain a deeper appreciation for the web of life that connects the deepest jungle to our daily lives. Protect their homes, and we protect a part of ourselves.